thought I'd get a jump start on this before my son gets home today. I'm gonna, this is a straight edge, straightest edge on this thing, so I'm gonna measure back seven inches. Leave about an inch. Leave about an inch in the back. Building's gonna be. Now we know where that's going to be. So we shall take this, line it up, line it up. Where the doors are, the bay doors. Now we shall decide if we want concrete pads, concrete entrance. Uh, there's enough room here for parking now, for vehicles to be parked, so we could do set it up for uh, handicap and other parking. And then we can figure out the rest of this. Is it going to be blacktop? Are we going to do old blacktop? Are we going to be doing repaired blacktop? What are we going to do? A lot of options. Whoops. Can't believe you didn't see all that. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of options. Uh, what I did was an inch from the back, seven inches from the front. Because this is going to stand up like that. Uh, I got a. I should mark where the old door was, an old garage was, because they too will play a part in this. is a new entry. <laughs> now I was thinking also, you know, this is uh, the way it is. I still could cut a hole in there for a window for the office. Because you come in here and the office is like right there. And then you got shop shop. So probably going to cut a window in here. Four feet off the ground. Come with the old dry, the old uh, concrete pad and the stoops, and then the, uh, the new. I'm gonna cut that window out, and then we're gonna tackle the uh, uh, stoops. So the stoops. 
stoops in the driveway. Parking area. A window for the office. We'll be framing that later. Now let's get back to doing this parking area. We're gonna only come out a foot for this one. I think I'm gonna raise this. If I raise it up higher, then I have to raise the door a little higher and the window a little higher. Same with this door because that means interior is raised. So, and on this one, I'm gonna come out. What is it? Uh, got a four foot door come out three foot had to put a ramp on there or something let's come out this I don't know, let's find an old truck or something. If we go out 20 feet. And we shall divide this up. We're going to make it look all cracked up and stuff like that. Like it's been here forever. I'm trying to give you a different... Different... Uh, uh, Different ways to take it, if you will, where you can uh, make the uh, uh, building the way you want. You could do it old, you could do it new. Uh, this one is painted. It'll be evident between this wall how these bricks look nice and flat and new. Same with these versus these ones that are all beat up. I'm going to be using a pen. Yeah, I'll do that right now. And we will add. in the mortar line. That's all you got to do. I outlined where the concrete part is to be. I got to divide it up to a reasonable reasonable uh, 
concrete slabs. In the old days they would have had larger slabs than the new newer stuff, but they would have still split it. Six, three, three. Because it's at five, so it's twenty five, twenty five, all of them okay now that I got all the split these would be four pads going this way this one's going to be three so since it's ten or a hundred we'll do 35 and 70 Put these ones into four. versus a new area. This is all new. This is old. Because this is old garage converted into the office. That's the new garage. Okay, I've decided that this area here is old, up to the old garage. And since then, it's been expanded out to the edge here and all the way over to there. This is uh, like with most craft, it's like, okay, I'm going to make this decision or that decision. Get in the picture. This will fit on most shelves. So. And that's the aim of it. And give enough surface too to take pictures of uh, uh, with a few cars on it. I get a thousand sub subscribers, I'll raffle this off. Someone uh, could win a uh, uh, facade or fascia diorama. This one, when it's done. Whoever, or when I get to a thousand subscribers or above, I will hold a raffle and the winner will receive the finished product. Now we're doing the cracks in the concrete. You can do it with a pencil or a pen. Just get in there and don't care about the, uh, uh, the direction of it. I like doing ballpoint pen with this because of the uh okay, the next step you see where all the cracks were I did by pen and on the building where the mortars like needs rechinked and stuff next step is the roof line This one's going to be lower, of course, because being an older garage, 
they were never that tall, so I'm going to probably cut it down to there, and the uh, top one I'm probably going to just take it down one brick. And again, 1,000 1, subscribers. And I run a raffle. I run one of the random uh, name generator raffles. And whoever that is, who leaves a comment on this one, will get this sent to them. Give you some idea where we're going with this. For parking spaces. Handicap, of course, is going to go here where the white Camaro is, the white Z28. Uh, got two repair bays there. Got a London taxi dropping someone off to get their car. Almost downhill from now, we can do painting next. That's the next thing to do is paint.